Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. Thank you for all the love and support you've shown on the channel. Let's get started. Aries, this is your love reading for May 15th through the 31st. Let's see what we have for Aries, okay? We have oh, heartbreaking loss. Stand your ground at the bottom of the deck. You could have blocked somebody, someone that hurt you. Or you just might, might be at odds with how everything is going. I feel like a lot is uh, coming against you. Very disappointed with uh, out, some type of outcome. Libra. Idealist. Harmony. Cooperative. Balance. Socially aware. Artistic. People pleasing. Fair. Idealistic. Aesthetic. Choosy, aspirational, geomet geometric, considerate, obling. I don't know how you say that, okay? Indecisive, judgment, or flattering. Intimacy. You could have found out somebody was flirtatious or just was uh, just out and about a lot and only caring about themselves or something like that. Just feel, I feel like uh, you wanted things to harmonize a certain type of way. And so far that hasn't happened and it's, it's creating some type of heartbreak or, well, it's not creating, it, it, it is some heartbreak about how things have, have been going, especially the idealist. So it was like you had, you had this ideal of how things were going to work out and a disappointment came about when it didn't quite work that way. Okay. Let's, let's see how this goes into play into the situation or this could be someone you're connected with so if you haven't been especially with idealists in the three of, of swords maybe someone is heartbroken because they thought something that they had was the ideal partner and then um now they they starting to see <laughs> that uh, it, it's not okay let me get a couple more shuffles and then we can start the reading all right, Aries, present situation, we have the six of cups, need time, take time, in time, cycles, time to heal progress. So it has been a past connection, a soulmate, where you wanted this person to come in and it's been a long time and that's what's causing this heartbreak, that ideal. Like, well, maybe this, I feel like you had certain steps about how this would go and it's a lot of disappointment because it didn't go that way. Immediate challenge is the Ten of Swords and Twin Flame. Okay, so this is about your twin feeling backstabbed because of the time it takes. The message I'm getting here is like, I thought this was supposed to be my ideal partner and they backstabbed me for others is another message that I'm getting, okay? Distant past, we have the seven of pentacles and transcending obstacles, learning, expanding, new phase, preparing for union. So you were looking at this as something that would have been there in a distant past. Someone else is also... Um, has been looking at their past and just seeing stuff for what it is. This could be your twin, but they're seeing stuff for what it is. And, and it's, there is teaching them like they're, they're reviewing the past, but in doing so in the day, there is teaching them from the past. Okay. Recent past is the seven of swords meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted friendship. So you could have maybe found out that it was something else going on with the seven of swords. Um, are you just, it's like that idealistic, I thought things would be here by now or just work out by now, but instead it's just constantly hearing the negativity and just everything else going on in the distant past. Let's see how this plays out. Best outcome is the five of wands and self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love, love bombing. So for you, the best outcome is just getting out of conflict about this and start focusing on yourself is the best message, the biggest message I'm getting here. <clears throat> best outcome for this person is to come in and end the conflict. Also knowing, realizing the parts they played in it, okay? And just like what, what was one-sided, now that person coming and offering something. Um, the immediate future, 
look at this. Someone real will recognize their mistakes. They will recognize this connection for what it is. Like no understanding that the uh, chemistry is insane. You guys like each other equally. So if you felt like you didn't, then just know that, that regardless of how it looks, that you guys, the attraction, the chemistry is there. You got a passion card with passion, okay? So six of wands, and this is overcoming all the five of wands. This is a five, then a six. You will overcome any internal conflict or just whatever it is going on with this situation. At the bottom of the deck, we have the knight of wands. So yeah, this was something ideal that you find out that this person is uh, possibly a player, have lo other love interests, and this person... um is not showing their hand and yeah you found out that this person was being underhanded sneaky we see that here and now it's here that's the under the underlying decks of each one let's see where we at as factors affecting this situation four of cups and engagement ring I'm getting this two different ways. Um, Ari, the factors affecting this situation is rejection, feeling rejected, like um, just allowing this energy to pass. But another thing I'm getting is this person feeling like, well, if I did come and offer them something, they may reject me. Another way I'm getting this is um, you just getting to a point with you where um, at this, even though it's like a strong connection, it's just like, it's not easy for you. So you ready for this cycle to complete because it's causing you a lot of like, it's uncomfortable. I see you, we got that with the three of swords. So you just want to get out of this uncomfortable stage. But if you see here, it's like something's being offered either by the divine or just being offered to you. But it's like someone constantly looking at this. That could be a third party, like a somebody who interfered with this relationship. And it's so much of looking at that so it's kind of hard to see what's being offered now, okay? <clears throat> External influences, the Ace of Cups, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. We got to see that with the Four of Cups. And then um, abandonment. So someone wants to offer something to kind of like fix whatever happened and stop the pattern. But I, I feel like... Um, Yeah, somebody wants to communicate. They're not telling you that, but look at that. You have the high priestess. You have your back turned towards this person too. So this is um, external influences. This person coming in and stopping whatever pattern they had right here and just offering something real, something solid, a real commitment, okay? And hopes and fears is... You want to create something that's abundant, something where you guys love each other, affection, attraction, just like that passion. This is what you want to create. But the fear is I don't want to I don't want to recreate this, the uh, Knight of Wands. And so you put, could be focusing on yourself a lot with here, Aries, with the uh, Queen of Wands. I do see the King of Wands underneath here. OK, so you guys are coming up in tarot at well, of course, as a couple. I'll come to this situation is have you blocked this person aries because some of you guys could have blocked this person um but this is a it's like somebody could have been trying to reach out but they're blocked for some of you you may block this person and they try to reach out or this person uh the outcome is someone wanting to express love but it's some type of block here from from this conflict so now you have five six seven so things are moving forward but whatever this uh, seven of wands is just feeling like a lot is against them and wanting to communicate that's the outcome so maybe this person tries to reach out and cannot because they're blocked um from caught contacting you it's just something like that or it's just like some type of guard being put up as far as in, and the divine is like, well, well, we can't let this come through because it may just turn into a fight or something. That could be the message too. This person could want to express love, but think, <laughs> think you may fuss them out. Let's see what's going on. Let's get some more messages. Aries, success. Look at that. 
congratulations and you have it here in the immediate future and here i feel like even though you feel like things have been coming against you and all you want is this this to like work out it's going to end up working out after all you just been doing a lot of self-work working on yourself um and that's what's been the hold up you ascending that too now we have um you got seven seven Seven, three sevens. Seeing that a lot in the twin flame readings. Hmm. I did another one because I'm not just basing these on twin flames. I did another one and they had seven, seven, seven in theirs too. I wonder what that's about. Interesting. Apprehension. That's what I was getting. Moving, move, moving out into the world. Doubt and fear. So it's, but I feel like there's some success with this though. I feel like if this person was apprehensive about reaching out to you because maybe you're fighting stuff, I feel like that's what this is saying. Like they're going to like overcome this. You do have victory in the immediate future. Tree of life at the bottom and it says fertility, creativity, destiny, magical blessings. This is a destined connection and it's blessed. <clears throat> Even this could be for you. Maybe you apprehensive about this working out and the divine could be saying that's just like that's doubt and fear coming up to the surface. But it's, it has the possibility of being successful. That could go that way. Also, choose love. You always have a choice. Make yours with the love. So you could be kind of iffy right now. Just it's a long process. <clears throat> Sometimes we get tired. So it's saying like that. Do something for someone else. Give your attention to another. All right, Aries, this is the message I have for you. Hope it helps. Bye.